Hey there, I'm Kelsey from poofycheeks.com where I share hundreds of free cut files, Cricut, and silhouette tutorials. Today we are talking about how to make custom QR code stickers using Cricut and the print and cut feature. The first thing that we need to do is create our custom QR code. So there's many websites where you can do this. I prefer to use flowcode.com because you can do it for free and you can even personalize it with your logo, lots of different options. So let's do that now. Once you go to flowcode.com, you can see that there's many different destinations you can send the user when they scan your QR code. I'm gonna use the Instagram one and put in my Instagram handle so that when somebody scans my QR code, they're taken to my Instagram account. Step two is all about designing your QR code so you can change the pattern, the colors, the theme, and you can even add your logo to the middle, which is what I'm gonna do. After you get the QR code to look the way you want it to look, then you're gonna to go to step three and download your code and share it. So you wanna download this as a PNG file and then just enter your email and press download code. It's gonna save itself to your computer. And then we're gonna put it into Cricut Design Space and turn it into a custom sticker. In Cricut Design Space, you're gonna start a new project, upload your QR code, and resize it. I put mine down to a little under um, two inches. And then you can add text or anything like that that you wanna to use to customize your sticker. I'm actually gonna upload a, another file that I created. It's a PNG and it says scan me. So that way, anybody that's not familiar with QR codes, it's just gonna give them a little guide like scan me so that they know what to do if they're unfamiliar. The scan me image does have a white background, so I'm going to upload the image um, using moderately complex. And then now Cricut has this new tool in Cricut Design Space where you can remove the background. So I'm gonna click on the white background and it's gonna completely remove that for me. So the only thing that will load in is the black text. On the next step, you want to make sure that you upload your image as a print then cut image because we're not trying to cut each letter out individually. Once we get that part uploaded into Cricut Design Space with our QR code, I'm just gonna arrange everything the way that I want it and select both items so that they are together. Resize again, making sure that it's the exact size I want it. I might even have to resize again later so I can fit the most stickers per sheet. While both parts of the design are selected, you're going to click attach to attach those two together. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to add an offset. And that's gonna be kind of like this border color around our sticker that ties it all together. So I'm gonna change the offset size. I want it to be kind of smaller and you can see that that offset is black. Obviously we don't want it black, so you can go ahead and change it to any color you'd like. I'm just for the purpose of showing you guys the offset, going to use a yellow. And so it's going to print that design and then it'll go back and we're gonna make it so that it only cuts around the yellow. You're gonna wanna select everything, flatten it, and then you're going to duplicate so that you can make multiple stickers for your sticker sheet. Um, when I use sticker paper, I try to fill the page completely because I don't want to waste any paper. So let's try to fit 9 to 12 stickers onto our sticker sheet. In order to fit the maximum amount of stickers, I did kind of have to play around with this and click make it, see how they were arranged on the mat, and then go back and resize again. Um, at one point my stickers were a little too big so it was putting them onto two pages. I only wanted one so you get the picture there but um, you will probably have to go back and forth to kind of sort these out. I am linking all the supplies that I use for this down in the video description so once I click make it I'm going to use the sticker paper that I have. It is inkjet and laser friendly Running that through, it'll you'll print it, you can print as many copies as you want, and then you'll load them onto your mat and use your machine to cut them um, for however many pages you needed. Once the stickers are arranged on the sheet like you want them, you're going to click next on the bottom right and it's gonna take you to a screen where you can then send your um, stickers to your printer. So at this point, you can pick how many copies of the stickers you wanna print and it'll print on your default printer. 
Once your page is printed, it will then lead you to step two to set your material and cut it. I did not have my Cricut Maker 3 turned on, so, so once I turned it on, those other options became available to me. For my material, I used sticker paper. Since that wasn't showing, I clicked on Browse All Materials and typed in sticker for it to come up, and then I picked the white sticker paper, printable sticker paper. Follow prompts in step three to load your tools and material. You're just gonna line your paper up to the top left-hand corner of your mat, load it in, and then it's going to turn on kind of like this light and it's going to scan that black border it put around your stickers just to make sure that it has the proper alignment before it goes ahead and starts cutting the stickers. Once my machine cut out the stickers and then I took it out of my Cricut machine, I just went ahead and peeled off the white background. It left me with the stickers there on the mat and I peeled those off stacked up all these stickers. I printed about five pages of stickers, so I will have them for my Etsy orders and they are going to be perfect. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and follow for more videos from Poofy Cheeks.